Okay, so I didn't think I was going to make another video today, but then as I just happened to be browsing the Nintendo Switch subreddit, uh, I came across a small 21 second video clip of somebody who decided to redesign the Nintendo Switch UI. Now, uh, you see a little bit over here on the TV, but I'm going to show you this clip in a moment. Uh, what I, I find interesting about this particular aspect is this is one of the first Nintendo Switch redesigns I have seen uh, UI-wise that actually makes sense and it seems to be a lot more functional than the current design from Nintendo. Now, a couple notes before I show it to you. Obviously, uh, there, there are some things that are a bit off on this. It's running at a really low frame rate. Uh, I know some people are joking about it being like one of those 24 FPS um, <laughs> cinematic views. But it, obviously, he made this custom on his computer. And to record the video of it working, it probably made his computer chug a little bit. Uh, but that doesn't take away from how awesome this UI redesign is. So before I get into that, and if you find this video to be really cool, and this is the first time you've ever found my channel before, hey, welcome to the Nintendo Prime. Why don't you hit that subscribe button and that like button? Also, we have a giveaway going on as well. There is a link down in the description or the pinned comment to enter uh, for $100 cash money. Still a handful of days left to enter for that. All right, that being said, let's take a look at the 21-second clip. So as you're seeing here, uh, it's a really interesting choice. So obviously you see it moves the icons from the bottom of the Switch's UI over to the left. Uh, otherwise, those icons stay pretty much the same. Um, you know, you have your account, news, shop, images, controller, settings, power. There's no Nintendo Switch online icon there, but, you know, you can imagine throwing uh, one of those I that icon there uh, and you access it with the ZL button. A very clever design. Also, you'll obviously notice that they're basically using full box art designs uh, for the thumbnails, which kind of uniforms the thumbnails and the box art together. I, I really like the idea of uniforming it. I also feel like, obviously, the more space on your screen that's taken up by the actual games, the better. Also, there's other things you notice that as they scroll through the games, uh, that they give you hours played the year it came from, and where your save file is. So is it saved onto the device? Is it saved to an SD card? So you know how to manage your files properly because the information for it is right there. Uh, uh, it's also nice to just have how, how long you've played each game available as well. Uh, very neat. Obviously, you see folders as well. Uh, these folders look like, obviously, folders that were created by the user. Uh, but still, it's really, really cool. And I, I think it's just a, a really neat way to expand upon what's already there underneath the surface and obviously uh you know at one point they do show you a look at like when you go to the all game section and show you all the different folders and all that i i just think it's a really neat design and to talk honestly about something like this means we have to admit that there is flaws in nintendo's design now where one thing I, I love so much about what this fan did is they took nintendo's simplistic design and simply just did it a little bit better uh, and that's great. Obviously, we, we know Nintendo needs to probably start looking into ways to revamp the eShop. I don't know why everyone doesn't go with the more Netflix-style model of recommending games and, and uh, organizing the genres and presenting stuff to people. But uh, it is what it is. All I know is this is really, really cool, and it's never going to be implemented by Nintendo. They're never going to do this stuff. But Nintendo has been slowly updating the UI. We, we don't have folders yet. That's one big thing that I don't understand. We had folders on Wii U, we had folders on Wii, we had folders on the 3DS. Why don't we have folders on Switch? I, I still to this day do not understand why there's no folders. That's one of the number one requested features. Forget themes. How about just the ability to organize our games properly, right? Uh, I know there's people out there that have hundreds of games on Switch, and instead of just having a giant list of games, wouldn't it be cool if we could just, you know, organize them into different folders, whether by genre or just custom-made folders? Um, so... Anyways, you guys let me know uh, what you think about this whole thing down in the comments below because I'm, I'm really curious on what changes you would make to Nintendo Switch's UI if you had the ability uh, to make changes. Right now, I, I think what this user did uh, makes a lot of sense. I'd actually like to see this user try to tackle the eShop now uh, and give us a look at what they think a redesigned eShop would be. Obviously, I'll put a link down to the original post. Remember to enter our giveaway. Nice and short video for you guys, but I just thought this was really cool to look at. So, uh, thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.